Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this video I'll present a document that I've created that I'll leave a link to in the description of this video. And you can use this document to create uh, coloured pattern fills which don't exist in Inkscape uh, under the fill menu. I'll just come and show you. These are the sort of fills that I've got that you can copy easily. You can recreate them yourself and that's the subject of a previous video. If I just um, go over here for example and uh, let's draw a rectangle and if we open up the fill and stroke menu and under uh, fill if we look at the pattern fill if we click here let's put in the last used one I think or one at, the one at the top of the list if I look at the drop down menu these ones here from stripes one to one downwards are the ones that uh, come with your standard Inkscape document and a few different ones down here you know different uh, effects but pretty much black and white patterns but these ones up here are ones that I've embedded in this document now I've tried to change the names but that was a bit fiddly and I've got problems so I've got a list of the names what these are on the uh, in the document here but if I pick that one for example it's pink stripes back to the select tool and go across here as I said these are all the ones that uh, they don't normally exist in Inkscape but I've uh, created them in this document and you can use them from this document wipe out whatever you want in this document, the patterns will still be there somewhere I think but uh, you can also copy into a new document for example if I um, go file new open up a new Inkscape document and if I select the rectangle tool here and look at the pattern fill here that puts in the black and white one, the stripes one to one, you can see the other patterns coloured ones aren't there but if you go back to my document and say you wanted uh, red stripes uh, you could use pattern 2419 so if I go over here and, and uh, well before I do it what I'll have to do in my document is go here if I want to say diagonal ones control C and back to this one with this selected selected if you have to go edit, paste, uh, style and there we go, it pastes it in and now if you look under here pattern 2419 is available in this document if you had to do any other ones so you can copy and paste the style by as I say in my document pick the one you want, control C then back to the one you want to apply it to select it, edit paste style okay now the other thing you can do if you don't want to operate in a new document you just want to operate um, in this one I mean you could wipe out everything you know if you wanted to or you could for example um, drag all of this out of the way so you've got a clean slate and you might uh, say have an ellipse E for ellipse and then you want to fill that with say a an orange horizontal stripe, well that's 2451 so if we go under uh, pattern fills and change it to 2451, there it is we'll put it in as horizontal if you want to um, change it to vertical or angled press the N for the node tool and search around the document for these three mysterious icons the cross moves the whole lot, you notice that the orange pattern is moving but uh, don't worry about that, I just move these down so it's next to the document I want to affect now moving that affects where the stripes start up or down the dot affects the rotation, you can hold down control to, mesh, to do it in 15 degree increments or just rotate to where you want to the square adjusts the spacing, you can move that in or out get it quite fine so you can do that uh, but you have to be operating within this document for that to happen if you want to operate in a new document as I said before use one of these rectangles down here copy and paste the style onto the object in your new document I should of course point out that uh, if you are operating in my document you can also use the quick uh, copy and paste style method for example you know green uh, diagonal stripes click on that control C then click on the object you want to apply it to go edit paste style and you can do that uh, pretty quickly within the one document so look at 
it's um, you know, not the simplest of procedure but it, it may be a bit quicker than the previous video where I had people create the pattern themselves. I'll show you that now just in case you prefer to go back to that method. Just uh, say use the rectangle tool and drag a rectangle and give it a colour that you want. It might be light blue for example. Control D to duplicate that and drag it down. Let's make that, I'll make it yellow just as something interesting. Get rid of the borders, we don't want those. Or we might not want those, so shift click on that. Control G to group it, so this is the object we want, might want to form a pattern from. You can affect the widths and things, but you can also affect them with those dots and crosses and squares and things I showed you before. Anyway, with that selected, go to Object, Pattern, Objects to Pattern, or Alt-I. You see the number that comes up there, 3236. So now if I wanted to change this one to that, that pattern, I could go and select 3236 here, and there it is. In for the Node tool. Um, actually, let's click on it. Okay, it's over here, yep. And you can rotate around or change the spacing or whatever you wanted to do there. It's a bit psychedelic, isn't it? Uh, if you wanted to uh, have the spacing not even, if I wanted the yellow to be thicker, I would have had to thicken it up up there before I created the pattern. Anyway, there's a bit on patterns. As I say, you can use my patterns or you can create new ones. But um, I hope uh, you find that useful. Any questions, get in touch. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.